other show them and then we can talk about them. media and um, a, a lot of this piece was about that and my work increasingly has become about um, not just making work with media or featuring media but actually making work that is about our relationship with media and with live performance um, so I'm just going to show another little clip oh. <laughs> yes absolutely no, look. Patrick can you turn it up a little bit you need to make some drastic changes and, and, and I know it may seem overwhelming right now, but, but, but I want you to know that, that I'm here for you. I've been through this, and, 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 and you can't do it alone. You, you really, really can't. You, you need a lot of help and guidance, and the great thing is, I can give that to you. You can. <laughs> it's time to break through your denial. Denial! And stop projecting your, your, your stuff onto me, <laughs> and, and onto everyone else. I mean, it's not about me. Ernie, you are so funny. You are absolutely crazy. I'm crazy? I'm crazy. Oh, that's, that's good, Lisa. You know what they say? Denial is not just a river in Egypt. <laughs> you, you need to be shocked out of your denial. Shock and awe, Lisa. That's the only thing that ever changes people. And that's what I'm trying to do for you. You can be free. Look at me. Look at me. I am free. I am in my joy! I miss him. Even when we're in the same room. This is so exciting, Lisa. I am so excited for you that this is such a great moment. You don't have to be trapped anymore. You don't. I, 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 mean, I mean, God knows you've been doing the best that you can. But, but you now have the knowledge to, to break through to the other side. I'm talking about freedom. See, I, I really thought that I was getting away from my past, but I was really just, just repeating the same thing. And you know what the funny thing is? It still had control over me. It still had total control over me. I thought that I was, you know, acting on my own independent will, but I was really just stuck, just like you. And now I gotta tell you, it's time. You so basically, this right. scene goes on and on, and it sort of um, turns into this section where I start talking. Um, over the top of this and adding this whole other layer of uh, layer context and narrative. And, um, and uh, Ed is on stage doing live video mixing. And what we've done here is we've layered 
li layers of pre-recorded video of them with live feed that's happening simultaneously with them, um, with the live performers behind a scrim of their own projections, if you're wondering what's going on. So the live performers are actually the most ghostly presence in this, um, and the sort of smallest figures, and they're completely dwarfed by um, these live and pre-recorded projections of themselves um, that are sort of used to highlight um, the content of the piece. So um, I'm running out of time, but I wanted to show that longer section because um, I think it shows some of the ways that I... Uh, um, that's okay. Um, that I've tried to, you know, I think there's a, a lot of, we see increasingly a lot more media and video being used in live performance. It's becoming actually very common now. And um, I think, oh, I, I, I've tried to really question for myself, why is it there? Why isn't it there? Should it be there? Um, if it's there, what is it doing? And to try to actually um, use, craft the relationship between the media and the form. Um, very specifically, so that I can use media to not just comment, not not just create interesting visual experiences and all the things that Jessica mentioned, but to also heighten our consciousness and awareness about our own relationship to media and it's it as a metaphor for um, sort of our own psychic projections and mental processes and experience of the inner versus outer world. So that's. Um, I'm probably all out of time, and uh, who's going next? Okay. Yeah, so um, we're trying different ways of, of trying to make sure that you guys feel kind of included in our conversation here, so um, we thought we'd try this. Um, we're wondering if um, anybody has anything they'd uh, like to ask Sarah in, in particular, or is there anything that's come up at the moment? Um, any comments or questions before yeah. I move forward? Clarifications. Clarifications. Yeah. What was the <laughs> about? details? How did she do it? You know. Don't be shy. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm. Is it on? It doesn't sound on. Oh. Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> I definitely want to talk about the yeah. actual process of working with technology yeah. every yeah. day, which yeah. I think is a really and important the, part of this discussion. Yeah. yeah, is that on? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm curious whether or not you're, um, you knew, you're, you're, you were familiar with the technology before you started the, pro the project, or if you... Um, thought that this was something you wanted to do and then learned the, the necessary um, programs, you know, instruments, whatever, um, in the process, or yeah. whether you were a geek head and thought this would be a cool thing to do? <laughs> That's a really great question, because um, uh, I think it's an important part of process, my, my process in particular, but um, I'm not a geek head at all. I hate technology. <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah, someone I, I really that. do, and I think it's it's what's interesting to me that I'm always, always actually asking myself this question about why is technology in my life? How do I want it in my life? Why is it in my work? How do I want it in my work? How is it affecting us? How's it affecting me? How's it affecting us? Um, but at the same time, I, I hate technology and I love it, obviously. I and mean, I love what, what can be done with it. And I come from a background of, um, primarily a background in the live performing arts. But in my 20s, I started, um, it, well, I think at some point I was like, am I going to go into the film industry or am I going to stay in live performance, as many of us end up asking. And I chose live performance for many reasons that hopefully we'll get to in this longer discussion. Um, and But I ended up making my living in media and film and video. Um, and uh, and I, have, I so, think sort of over the years had an increasingly sort of contentious, conflicted relationship with that. Um, so anyway, the answer to your question is both. Um, I, I've been interested in, in multimedia performance ever since I saw Laurie Anderson on TV when I was like 10. You know, I mean, um, and at the same time, uh, so 